The sugar pill is a symbol. It's a symbol of possibility, and the person has been conditioned that pills <laughs> heal people. So they put their power into it, and the moment the physician says, this is a new drug, and the physician is enthusiastic or excited about it, that enthusiasm becomes contagious. And the person all of a sudden sees the possibility in their mind. They actually see a future that they actually could be healthy or better. That's a clear intention. And when they feel optimistic, when they feel inspired, when they feel grateful, when they're changing their emotions or energy, they're combining a clear intention with an elevated emotion. And if thoughts of the vocabulary of the brain and feelings of the vocabulary of the body and how you think and how you feel creates your state of being, they just move from their past present state of being into a future present state of being. They began to change their brain and body by thought alone. So then do you need that sugar pill or can you just do it without it? There's a force at work in your life that you may not fully realize, a power moving through you that's constantly shaping your reality. In the depths of your desires and intentions, even the ones you haven't clearly defined yet, there lies a greater intelligence. This intelligence is aligning the circumstances, people, and opportunities that you need to fulfill the highest version of yourself. You may have thought you knew what you wanted, but the universe, guided by something deeper, has a grander vision. It often brings us what we never even knew we needed. In those moments when life feels uncertain or when the unexpected arrives, remember that these are not accidents. These are invitations for growth, for stepping into a new reality where you can expand, evolve, and manifest from a place beyond the ordinary. When you surrender to this flow and trust that something far greater than your conscious mind is orchestrating events in your favor, the impossible begins to unfold. It's not just about receiving what you think you need. It's about tapping into the infinite where life gives you what's required for your evolution, your healing, and your expansion. Every challenge, every surprise, every unexpected turn is the universe's way of guiding you toward a version of yourself that is more powerful, more fulfilled, and more aligned with your highest purpose. So step into that unknown with an open heart. Let go of the need to control every outcome. What you're about to receive may be beyond what you could have imagined, but it will be exactly what your soul has been seeking all along. The moment you trust, you create space for miracles. And in that space, the universe delivers what you didn't even know you needed. Imagine if I told you that the universe is offering you a gift right now, a gift so perfect that it's exactly what you need, even though you might not realize it yet. Sounds unbelievable, right? But in the next few moments, I'm going to show you how to unwrap this gift, and it just might change your life forever. Right now, at this very moment, Something inside you is shifting. You may not feel it yet, but it's like a seed planted deep in the soil of your mind, just beginning to sprout. This change, this growth, it's not coming from the outside. It's something you can't touch or see, but it's happening within you, in the vast landscape of your thoughts and emotions. Think about it. Every day you wake up and go through your routine, your habits, your regular thoughts, your usual emotional states. But what if I told you that everything you know is about to be shaken up? What if I said that you're on the verge of receiving something so profound, so life-altering, that you didn't even know you needed it? See, your brain is an extraordinary machine, constantly processing information, shaping your reality. But most of the time, we're not even aware of its true power. We get stuck in old patterns, outdated ways of thinking and being, it's like running ancient software on a computer, not realizing that a more powerful version is waiting for an upgrade. But today, in this moment, we're starting that upgrade. We're going to rewire your mental software, and here's the best part. You already have everything you need. It's all within you, waiting to be activated. Let's talk about the power of thought. Your thoughts aren't just abstract ideas floating in your head. They're real, tangible forces. Every time you think, your brain releases chemicals that flow through your body, influencing every cell, every organ, every fiber of your being. Positive thoughts lift you up, while negative thoughts weigh you down. Now imagine if you could harness that power. Imagine if you could direct your thoughts with purpose, like a laser beam. What kind of reality could you create? What kind of person could you become? 
This isn't some wild fantasy, it's science. It's the reality of how your brain and body work. And once you truly understand this, your life will never be the same. But here's the thing, knowing this isn't enough. You have to apply it. You have to live it, breathe it, practice it, just like learning an instrument or mastering a sport. It takes time, dedication, and effort. But the rewards are beyond what you can imagine. Let me share a story with you. I once worked with a woman named Sarah. She came to one of my workshops feeling lost, stuck in a job she hated, and trapped in a draining relationship. She felt like life was just happening to her, like she had no control. Sound familiar? Sarah learned about the power of her thoughts. She learned to meditate, to visualize, and to rewire her brain with new pathways. It wasn't easy at first. Her old habits and thought patterns kept pulling her back. But she didn't give up. She practiced every day, even when it felt like nothing was changing. And then, slowly but surely, things began to shift. She started to feel different. She made new choices. She found the courage to leave her job and start her own business. Her relationship improved because she showed up as a new person. And then, as if by magic, opportunities began to appear. Doors opened for Sarah that she never knew existed. Was it really magic? No. It was her aligning her thoughts, her energy, and her being with what she truly wanted. She literally rewired her brain, and in doing so, transformed her life. Now you might be thinking, that's great for Sarah, but my life is different. My problems are bigger, my situation more complicated. I get it. We've all been there. But here's the truth. Your problems, your circumstances, are not as unchangeable as you think. Your reality is not set in stone. It's fluid. It's malleable. And you have the power to shape it. How? Through your thoughts. Through your focus. Through your energy. Everything you experience in the outside world is a reflection of what's happening inside you. Change your inner world, and your outer world will begin to transform. Many people find themselves stuck because they're waiting for their external world to change before they allow themselves to shift internally. They think, I'll be happy when I get that promotion, or I'll feel secure when I have more money in the bank. But this approach is like waiting for your car to move before you start the engine. Real change starts from within. You need to become the version of yourself who already has what you desire. Think the thoughts, feel the emotions, and embody the energy of the future you envision. And when you do this consistently, when it becomes your new reality, that's when the magic happens. That's when you start attracting things you never even realized you needed. Let's be honest though, this isn't easy. If it were, everyone would be doing it. It takes courage to step out of your comfort zone. It requires discipline to rewire your habitual thoughts and behaviors and it demands faith to believe in something you can't yet see or touch. But that's where the growth happens, in that uncomfortable space of uncertainty. It's where you uncover strengths you never knew you had and awaken parts of yourself that have been waiting for this exact moment. Think back to a time when you faced a challenge and came out stronger. Maybe you started a new job, ended a relationship, or moved to a new city. Remember the fear, the doubts, the what-ifs swirling in your mind? But you did it anyway. And on the other side of that fear, you found growth, strength, and a more powerful version of yourself. That's exactly what's waiting for you on this journey. Now close your eyes and take a deep breath. Picture yourself a year from now, five years from now, or even 10 years down the road. Who is that future you? How do they think? How do they feel? What kind of life are they living? Make that vision as real as possible in your mind. Because here's the truth, that future self already exists. Every thought, choice, and action you make today is either bringing you closer to that reality or pulling you further away from it. So ask yourself, what can you do right now to start stepping into that future version of you? It doesn't have to be a massive overhaul of your life overnight. Start small. Maybe it's setting aside 10 minutes a day for meditation, writing down three things you're grateful for before bed, or choosing love instead of fear in a difficult moment. Whatever it is, commit to it and treat it as non-negotiable. This is an appointment with your future self, the person you're becoming. As you begin to shift internally, pay attention to what starts to change around you. Notice the synchronicities, the unexpected opportunities that seem to appear out of nowhere. These are not random. They're the universe responding to your new energy. 
When you elevate your thoughts and emotions, you start to vibrate at a different frequency and you begin to perceive new possibilities that were always there, but invisible to the old you. This is where the real magic happens. And yes, life will still bring challenges. Things won't always go as planned, even when you're doing everything right. But your new mindset will help you see those challenges as opportunities. What once seemed like a setback can become a setup for something even greater. Every obstacle carries within it the seed of a bigger blessing, if you're willing to see it. Think about how many times in your life something you thought was a disaster turned out to be exactly what you needed. Maybe losing a job led to a better career, or a relationship ending created space for the right person to enter your life. These aren't just silver linings. They are proof that the universe is always working for you, even when it doesn't feel like it. To truly live this way, you have to remain open and trusting. You need to let go of rigid expectations and embrace what unfolds. That doesn't mean you stop setting goals or pursuing your dreams. It means you set your intentions, take inspired action, and then release your attachment to how things should happen. When something doesn't go according to plan, it's because something even better is in store. Too often, people grip tightly to their plans, trying to control every detail. And in doing so, they miss out on the serendipity, the magical, unexpected gifts that life brings. Trust that the universe is always guiding you, and the path you're on is leading to something greater than you could ever imagine. Let go, stay open, and let the magic unfold. I invite you to release the need for control, to trust more and let go. Open yourself up to the possibility of receiving what you didn't even know you needed. When you loosen your grip, life transforms into an exciting journey, a collaboration between you and the universe. This is where miracles begin to unfold. Now let's talk about how to bring these ideas into your everyday life. Knowledge without action remains just information, but transformation happens when we apply it. The first step is awareness. Many of us live on autopilot, barely noticing the constant chatter of our minds, yet our thoughts shape our reality. So start paying attention. What are you telling yourself throughout the day? Is your inner dialogue uplifting or limiting? Once you become aware of these patterns, you can begin to shift them. This isn't about forcing positivity all the time. That's neither realistic nor the goal. The goal is to be intentional with your thoughts. When you catch yourself spiraling into negativity, consciously choose a different perspective. Affirmations are powerful for this. Find statements that resonate with you, like I am capable of overcoming any challenge, or each day I'm growing stronger. But don't just repeat these words, feel them. Let the emotion behind them fill you. Your thoughts and feelings together are what create your reality. Visualization is another key practice. Spend time each day imagining your ideal life. Engage all your senses. How does it look, feel, sound? The more vivid you can make it in your mind, the more you prime yourself to recognize opportunities that align with that vision. Meditation too is invaluable. It's not about emptying your mind, but creating space between your thoughts. This allows you to observe your mind without getting lost in it. Through mindful awareness, you gain the power to choose your responses rather than reacting on autopilot. Start small, just a few minutes of sitting quietly, focusing on your breath. When your mind wanders, gently bring it back. Over time, this practice will help you stay present and in control of your thoughts. While this inner work is crucial, action is just as important. You are not just a passive participant in life, you are a creator. So ask yourself, what actions can you take today that align with the future you're envisioning? It might be having a difficult conversation, learning a new skill, or taking a small step toward your dream. You don't need to have everything figured out. The path will reveal itself as you move forward. Don't wait for the perfect moment or until you feel completely ready. That moment rarely comes. Those who achieve greatness aren't without fear. They act despite it. Embrace the uncertainty. Lean into the discomfort because that's where growth and miracles happen. That's where you find what you never even knew you needed. As you combine this inner work with inspired action, you'll start to see changes. They may be subtle at first, a sense of calm, a shift in the people around you, opportunities aligning with your goals. Pay attention to these signs and celebrate them, no matter how small. They're proof that you're on the right path. 
but be careful not to get attached to how things unfold. Often, life surprises us with something better than we imagine. Stay open and flexible, trusting that the universe has your best interest at heart, even when things don't look exactly as expected. This journey of transformation isn't always smooth. There will be challenges and some days may feel like you're not making progress. This is normal. Don't let these moments discourage you. They are part of the process. Use them as opportunities to strengthen your new mental habits and remind yourself how far you've come. Growth isn't a straight line. It's more like a spiral. You may feel like you're revisiting old patterns, but each time you're moving upward, evolving into a higher version of yourself. At the heart of this transformation is a shift in how you see yourself. We all have a self-concept, a belief about who we are, shaped by our past and the expectations of others. But this self-concept is not fixed. You can change it. You can choose to step into a new identity that aligns with your highest potential. How? By changing your thoughts about yourself, adopting new beliefs, and taking actions that align with the person you want to become. Even when it feels uncomfortable or unfamiliar, keep showing up as this new version of you. For example, if you've always seen yourself as shy and introverted, that belief has shaped your actions. But what if you started believing you're confident and outgoing? Little by little, as you take steps to align with this new identity, you'll begin to embody it fully. Remember, you are not defined by your past. You are a creator, capable of evolving and growing into the person you truly want to be. The possibilities are limitless, and the journey is yours to shape. Trust in yourself, trust in the process, and watch as life unfolds in ways you never dreamed possible. What if you chose to see yourself in a new light? What if you decided right now to believe that you are confident, articulate, and someone whose voice matters? At first, this belief may feel like a lie, like your mind is resisting it, digging up memories of past experiences to argue against it. But remember, your brain is designed to keep you safe, to hold on to the familiar, even if that familiar is no longer serving you. Its job is to maintain the status quo. But your job? Your job is to push through, to choose this new belief again and again until it sticks. Start small. Speak up in a meeting, even if your voice trembles. Introduce yourself to someone new, even if it feels awkward. Volunteer to give a presentation, even if it terrifies you. Each of these actions isn't just about behaving differently. They're about rewiring your brain, forming new neural pathways that align with this empowered version of yourself. And here's the exciting part. The more you think, feel, and act like this new version of yourself, the more your external world starts to reflect it. People respond to you differently. New opportunities arise, aligning with the person you are becoming. What once felt like you were pretending starts to feel like your natural state. This is the incredible power of neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to reshape itself, to grow and evolve as you do. Take a moment now and think about who you want to become, not just what you want to achieve, but the kind of person you wish to be. What qualities do you want to embody? How do you want to show up in the world? Envision your future self vividly. Then ask, how would that person think? How would they feel? What choices would they make today? Start living from that place as if you are already that person. Not tomorrow, not someday, but right now. Yes, it might feel strange at first. You might feel like an imposter, but that's just your old identity trying to pull you back into its comfort zone. Understand, that old version of you is not the real you. It's just a collection of past habits and beliefs. The real you is infinite potential, capable of becoming whoever you choose to be. So choose wisely. Choose thoughts that empower you. Take actions that align with the highest vision of yourself because every choice you make is either moving you closer to that vision or farther from it. There's no neutral ground. And as you do this, you'll notice something extraordinary happening. Opportunities you never anticipated begin to show up. People come into your life who support your growth in ways you couldn't have predicted. You're no longer living from your old limited self. You're tapping into something greater. Call it the quantum field, the unified field of possibilities, or simply the universe. It's the space where your future self is already pulling your present into alignment. In this space, time doesn't behave the way we're used to. 
The future can shape the present just as much as the past. When you focus clearly on your desired future and align your emotions and actions with that vision, you're literally drawing that future into your reality. That's why it's so important to focus on what you want to create, not what you want to avoid. Whatever you focus on grows. If you're constantly dwelling on problems and limitations, you'll get more of that. But when you shift your focus to the life you want to live, to the person you want to be, you start to magnetize those experiences to you. You become a match for the future you desire. This might sound a bit mystical, but there's science behind it. Quantum physics tells us that reality is more fluid and less fixed than we once thought. Everything, including your thoughts and emotions, is energy, and that energy interacts with the world around you. Neuroscience shows us that we can rewire our brains through focused intention and repetition. Epigenetics tells us that we're not slaves to our genes. We can influence how they express themselves through our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. But you don't need to understand all the science to benefit from it just like you don't need to understand electricity to turn on a light. What matters is that you try. Experiment with these ideas. Test them in your life and see what happens. For the next 30 days, commit to living as if you're already your future self. Choose one area of your life. Maybe it's your health, career, relationships, or finances. And get clear on how your future self would think, feel, and act in that area. Then start embodying that every day. Be consistent. Be intentional. And most of all, be patient. At the end of those 30 days, take a look at what's changed, not just externally, but in how you feel and who you're becoming. You'll be surprised at how far you've come, not just in that one area, but in every part of your life. Because when you raise your energy in one place, it ripples out into everything else. Confidence in your career affects your relationships. Improving your health sharpens your mind. Everything is connected. As you keep choosing to be the person you truly are, you'll find life starts to flow. What used to be hard becomes effortless. Opportunities that once seemed out of reach start showing up. People are drawn to you, inspired by the energy you're radiating. It doesn't mean you won't face challenges, but you'll meet them from a place of strength and growth, not fear. This is your moment. You have everything you need within you to create the life you've always dreamed of. So take a deep breath, Connect with your potential and decide right now to step into the person you are meant to be. Because when you do that, when you fully embody your power and purpose, you not only change your life, but you also light the way for others. The universe is waiting for you to shine and the best is yet to come.